What's up everybody? I'm Scott Vinyl. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we are talking about Get Good Drums, specifically their brand new release, One Kit Wonder, Architects. For those of you familiar with my channel will know that I love Get Good Drums. I use a lot of their products. I love their drum libraries. Uh, they've got a great compressor, Smash and Grab. I use a lot of their IRs, uh, Zilla Cabs, and their latest release, Cali Oversize, both great products. Uh, for those paying attention, we'll know that I also love the band Architects. So when Get Good Drums announced that they were teaming up with Dan from Architects to make their latest drum library, I was like, take my money. In the beginning of this video, you would have heard a demo song with me using this latest One Kit Wonder Architects. Uh, completely unprocessed. I didn't do anything to the drums. That's straight out of the box with the default setting called Good To Go. Um, that's what the kit sounds like. If you're wondering what this sounds like in a mix, that was it. And just like the other One Kit Wonder libraries from Get Good Drums, this one is pretty much ready to go out of the box. I mean, you can tweak it a little bit if you like. There's a handful of other presets, but generally speaking, these things are designed for people to just sort of plug and play. Uh, that's generally how I like to use these kits anyways when I do these videos. I don't like to spend too much time processing drums. I have in the past, but these One Kit Wonder libraries I find are a big Time saver. For those that watch my channel will know that I love One Kit Wonder Metal and Invasion. Those are the two libraries that I use the most. So I thought it'd be fun today to give you a little bit of an A-B comparison between One Kit Wonder Metal and this new One Kit Wonder Architects because I suspect there's quite a lot of people out there like me that probably use the One Kit Wonder Metal and are wondering, should I pick up this One Kit Wonder Architects? What's the difference? How does it sound? That's what we're gonna dive into today. All right, so what we're gonna do now is jump into Pro Tools. I have my session open for that demo song that I played at the beginning. Uh, let's ignore all of the guitar and bass for now, and we're just gonna focus on the drums. Uh, I'm gonna open up Contact here, and you'll see that I've got One Kit Wonder Metal loaded, and I also have One Kit Wonder Architects loaded. And if you're familiar with the One Kit Wonder uh, libraries, the Architects one is no different. Uh, you've got your mixer down here where you can control your kicks, snare, toms, overheads, and room. And if you want to tweak even further, uh, click open settings and you've got that there. For the purpose of today's video, I'm going to focus on this good to go template that is already preloaded. And I'm going to be comparing that to the One Kit Wonder Mix Ready template that is loaded in here. Uh, so let's start by doing some isolated drums. So I'm going to play the first section of that demo song that you heard, just the drums on their own. I'll start with One Kit Wonder Architects, and then I'll switch to One Kit Wonder Metal. After that, what I'm gonna do is play through that entire demo song again in a full mix, but I'm gonna AB back and forth between One Kit Wonder Metal and One Kit Wonder Architects so you can hear the difference between the two kits. So without further ado, let's jump in and listen to One Kit Wonder Architects. All right, you get the idea. All right, so let's switch over, play that same section uh, of the song and switch to One Kit Wonder Metal. All right, you get the idea. Um, so that's just like a quick overview of what these two kits sound like out of the box. What I'm gonna do now is jump back into that demo song. I'll put the guitars and the bass back in and I'm gonna AB back and forth between these two kits. You'll see on screen which kit you're hearing. And uh, yeah, that'll be it.
right, everyone, that'll do it for me today. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found it informative in some way. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's that tiny little red button there. When you click it, it'll turn gray. And when it turns gray, that means it's official. We are internet friends. All right, everyone, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, stay safe and stay heavy. See you in the next video.